Hi, I am going to take a look at the Misfit Model 3D program. It is a program for making 3D models. One thing that I like about this program is that it is quite simple. You don't have to learn a lot of functions to be able to use it. You can pretty much get started right away. But you can still do quite a lot of useful things with it. This is a polygon style of modeling. The models are made up by points in a 3D space. The points are called vertices. The points are joined by lines, edges. The edges makes up faces. A face in this program is always a triangle. The triangles are connected into a mesh and the mesh is the model. The interface of this program consists of a menu bar, a toolbar and a viewport window. In the menu bar we have, under File, the sort of stuff that you would expect to find there, such as New, Open, Save, Export and Close. Under View we will find the settings for the viewport window. I have marked up the settings that I am using in this presentation. Under Tools, Model and Geometry we will find different functions useful when we are doing the model. The most used tools we will also find in the toolbar. The functions under Materials are used to paint a model. Influences and Animation, there you will find tools to animate a model. Under Help, you will find a small manual for the software. In the toolbar we have a group of functions that we can use when we start up a model by adding a primitive form. The basic forms are a cube, a sphere, a cylinder or a donut. When you have chosen a primitive to add to your model you will find to the left under the toolbar opportunities to change the values of that primitive. In the toolbar you also have tools to select parts of your model. The three first options are to select points or to select faces or select a mesh. When you have selected a mesh or a part of a mesh you can change your model using these tools. The three first tools are Move, Rotate and Scale. Extrude is a very useful tool when you are working with your model. With it you can add material to the model using selected faces. Okay, now let us try to make a simple model, a model of a bedside table. We start out with a simple cube. We select the faces at the top of the cube and using extrude, scale and move we form the top of the table. 
to select points or faces or a mesh, use the left mouse button and make a square that includes the stuff you want to select. If you already have made a selection and you want to add to that selection, you can do that using Shift and left button. If you want to unselect some of uh, the stuff that you have selected earlier, you can do that using the right mouse button and making a square around the things that you want to unselect. If you want to unselect everything that you have selected earlier, just left click. Well, that takes care of the top of the table. Turned out quite nice, I think. And now for the bottom of the table. First, I make a small base under the table using Extrude, Scale and Move. I select the two faces that make up the bottom of the model, making sure that the Include Back Facing option is turned off. From the toolbar I use Geometry and Subdivide Faces, making more faces. For the faces at the corners of the bottom, I make sure that they are turned the way I want them to be turned using Geometry Edge Turn. I select the corner faces and subdivide them. In each corner I now have faces that are suitable to use with Extrude to make the legs of the bedside table. And there we have the finished basic model. In a later video I will show how to put a texture on the model. But for now, this is all. Bye.